In 1990, Bloomberg opened its office in Singapore with just two employees. We now employ over 500 staff from 25 countries, all proud to call this city home. Singapore has grown too, from a challenger economy to a vital global trading hub. 1990s was a very exciting time for Singapore. That was a time when Singapore was trying to evolve as a global financial center. We had a lot of global financial institutions trying to set up their shops in Singapore. And also that was a time when a lot of players in Singapore were trying to expand their operations over there. GIC, the sovereign wealth fund established by the government of Singapore and one of the world's largest global investors, was one of our first customers. We started uh, in a service centre and then we moved to Clifford Centre. We could actually accommodate the entire office in a small auditorium. We started with one floor, then we have two floors, and then we took a piece of the sixth floor, now we're building out the 13th floor. And the growth in the employees and the strength in the office coincided with the growth of our business in Singapore and in the region. And also it coincided with the fact that Bloomberg itself was expanding its offering to the market. I think the draw of Singapore has been consistent over the last 25 years. It's a very market-based economy and has a very, very progressive leadership. Both Singapore and Bloomberg have evolved and it's been an, an amazing journey. Today, the Bloomberg Professional Service, the leading financial information network, is being used by thousands of investment firms, corporations, banks and schools across Singapore. Bloomberg and Singapore share a similar vision, which is breaking down of the barriers and bringing transparency and connecting the global markets. Bloomberg has been a very reliable, trustworthy partner. We have been using Bloomberg since 1991. At that time, we had three users, and now we've expanded the relationship to over 1,000 users across 16 cities. Um, as a matter of fact, all our group companies use Bloomberg. Bloomberg's been a really active partner in the development of capital markets within the region and across a lot of the different uh, products that we are actually servicing. Bloomberg has provided excellent detail analysis and market intelligence to professionals in capital markets, in asset management and private wealth. I think companies like Bloomberg really play an important role in the development of the financial market because you supply the platform over which information flowed and that platform is very important. Bloomberg is well known worldwide. That's been able to help us uh, influence regulators across this region to really develop the capital markets at a much more rapid pace. One of the principles at Bloomberg is we work to a higher purpose every day and that is we give back more to the communities than we take out. We've done a lot to just make our presence felt in many communities. We just launched an app with Gardens by the Bay that was Bloomberg funded. We actually sold to the first international school in Asia in Singapore, so we established a lab. We also provide the ability for our people to basically contribute locally by working with local philanthropies that make a significant impact on the environment in Singapore from a living perspective. In coming years, I see Bloomberg's technology and products connecting Singapore firms and their proprietary systems seamlessly to global commodities and financial markets. Singapore is uniquely positioned to take advantage of the shift which is happening in global financial markets. It is an important regional hub and we're grateful to have the opportunity to be there and participate in a long-term plan to continue to grow that part of the world. Singapore for the next 25 years, I am sure, will be every bit as exciting, if not more so than it has been the first 25 years. It's a parallel growth story and an extremely wonderful and gratifying one for people who have had the privilege to be a part of it.